Zapata, the revolutionary hero who transcended little in cinema. Although the gratitude and admiration of the peasants made Emiliano Zapata a legend, who is an iconic character of the Mexican Revolution for his tireless defense of land ownership, his figure has transcended little in cinema. Unlike Francisco y Madero and Pancho Villa, Zapata, whose phrases land and liberty and land belongs to those who work it summarize the ideals of the peasants, but it barely has four references in cinematography, the first one from Hollywood. Elia Kazan took El Caudillo del Sur for the first time to the big screen in 1952 with Viva Zapata, starring Marlon Brando as the protagonist and Anthony Quinn as his brother Eufemio. In 1970, Antonio Aguilar put on the mustache and boots of this historical figure and produced and wrote the script for Emiliano Zapata, directed by the Dane Young filmmaker Felipe Casals. After 17 years, Antonio Aguilar repeated the role in Zapata and Chinameca by Mario Hernandez, although with less success. This film was focused on the plan for his assassination in the Hacienda of Chinameca. The most recent version of Zapata came to theaters in 2004 with Zapata, The Dream of the Hero, by Alfonso Arau with Alejandro Fernandez as the protagonist. The film is probably one of the most ambitious films about the revolutionary character and included Lucero and Jaime Camille in the cast. However, the film received strong criticism because it did not stick to the original story of the revolutionary hero. Notimex.